my name's Austin. Uh, I've worked here since I was 14. Uh, the name of the calf is Terry's. The best way to describe it would be um, post-war, 1940s, 50s. That was due to my dad's love of post-war London and Britain. All the black and white photos, everyone's looking at the camera. Uh, everyone's smiling, even though the times were tough. Obviously it was a different, different Britain to what it is now, but it was the Britain that my dad held fondly. In 1982, Austin's father Terry opened what is now known as Terry's Cafe. Using his extensive knowledge and skills learned while he had worked in London's Smithfield Meat Market, Terry produced home-cooked food alongside his son Austin. Some of these dishes include apple pie, steak and kidney puddings, and his signature English breakfast, The Works. So what is it, and what comes on this absolutely massive plate of food? So the works as consists of all the traditional ingredients of a cooked breakfast. So you've got sausage, Cumberland sausage we use, egg, free range, bacon, bubble and squeak, black pudding, tomatoes, beans and mushrooms. I know the emphasis I put on the buy-in. The buy-in's bought fresh from the market twice weekly, you know, so I know that it's good produce. I only buy the best produce. And I take great care in maintaining the presentation and the quality and the standard of the food. Some people don't get it, but most people, most people do. Yeah, I could, have, I could fancy it up if I wanted to, but that, that's not the point. In a previous Best of the Best video, we voted Terry's as our favourite fry-up in London. Here's what we thought about the food when we visited the South London Cafe. On this absolutely massive plate of food, we've got a couple of quite new ingredients. So the first one is bubble and squeak. Um, it's just this kind of mashed potato looking thing over here and what it actually is is um, potato and quite traditionally like cabbage or sprouts um, all kind of griddled into one. So what we've also got here is our first black pudding of the day. What it is is usually pig's blood mixed with oats and some animal fat and then put inside a casing and kind of cooked like a sausage. Yeah, I'm liking that. You get the kind of caramelization on the outside where it's browns. It's a little bit of sweetness. The inside, I'm mostly getting the potato, but then it's kind of mixed in with that. You get the kind of the, the cabbage and whatever else is in there, and it's good. It's like a really OT consistency. Like it's really like a porridge. If you tried that without knowing what it was, would you think blood? No, I mean it tastes a little bit like sausage. It's like OT sausage. It's a really, really nice fried egg here. Um, you can see that it's cooked extremely well. It's got this really nice sheen to it. Not much crisp on the bottom. Yeah. I really want to try this sausage. Just, just get a look at the size of these. This is this is an entire meal in just one like in one forkful. Like this is this is like a, a hot dog sausage, but it's just it's got this amazing glisten to it. You can see it's just perfectly cooked. Really, really, really tasty looking. Like, I literally can't wait to eat this. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like super, super sweet. Like it's it's not as herby as other sausages that we've tried today. It's just like a very nice sweet pork. And uh, we'll try some of this bacon under here. It's kind of almost towards that like gammon ham sort of texture that you're more used to, but with the sort of the saltiness and the and the little bit of crisp from the bacon. It's really good. 